Allegations of unsafe conditions at the DeKalb County Jail brought dozens of protesters to the streets Wednesday night. They blocked streets, bringing traffic to a standstill, and our cameras caught a clash between some protesters and law enforcement. Four people were arrested. They remain in custody tonight. Now, other protesters hope that county commissioners will look into conditions at the jail. Now, that's where Fox 5's Carrie Charles joins us live tonight. And Carrie, those who gathered today didn't get very far. Yeah, SNA, the reason for that is because commissioners, well, they weren't meeting today. They aren't expected to come back together again until the 28th. I do want to show you what's happening out here tonight right now. You can see deputies here are at the entrance to the jail. They are not allowing anyone else inside. And then just up the road, you can see gates are being put in place. They are preparing for a second night of protest. They have learned of a protest set to take place, and folks are scheduled to make their way over here. They said about 85 people gathered last night. They are not sure how many people are expected to be out here tonight, but they are not allowing anyone else onto the campus, but cars are leaving. Meantime, those arrested last night, they were able to get a first-hand look inside of the jail. They are being processed, we're told, tonight, getting set to be released on bond. They are charged with disorderly conduct and obstructing public passages, both misdemeanors. What we're calling for today is an immediate investigation into the conditions of DeKalb County Jail. Five demonstrators gathered outside of the DeKalb County government building Thursday afternoon. They continued to protest what they call unsafe and unsanitary conditions in the county jail. Their conditions are deteriorating, that their diet is completely inadequate, that they're being harassed, that they have to deal with mold. The conditions are inhumane. The night before, protesters, the sheriff's office believes about 85 people, marched to the jail and met a strong presence of law enforcement. A scuffle ensued. Four people arrested. 23-year-old Evan Heimbausch of Blue Ridge, 20-year-old Cameron Michelson of Decatur, 33-year-old Brandon Sowers, and 29-year-old Diana Settles, both from Atlanta. It's totally without credibility. Hours before the protest, Sheriff Jeffrey Mann spoke exclusively with Fox 5 about the claims. I mean, we are one of the um, well-renowned, safest, most accredited correctional facilities in the country. Today's group gathered armed with what they say are more than 300 petitions. So that's why we've hit the streets with this petition campaign. We're going to go inside and talk to the Board of Commissioners today and demand, again, an immediate investigation into the conditions of DeKalb County Jail, and we'll accept no less. 